Austin, uh, what sort of progress do you feel was made this season? Oh, I mean, I think it's kind of just easy to look at it, and you know, you get out of the first round, and it's a uh, you know big probably talking point, but obviously, you know, the main goal every year is to you know challenge and um, you know win, and you know, you still haven't met that, but I think you know throughout the season, there's obviously ups and downs and adversity that gets thrown your way, and uh, lessons and experiences that. Um, you know, that are, that are really important in just the evolution of being a, a person, a player, uh, an organization, and a team. Has the team shown enough that you would like to be here long term? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, my intention is to, to be here. I, I think I've, uh, you know, reciprocated that uh, before, how much I enjoy playing here and, and what it means to me and um, the organization, uh, my teammates, and, and how much uh, you know, I just enjoy being here. So, How important to get that done before next season? Yeah, I, I think that uh, you know it's important, and you know it'll all kind of work itself out in due time, and um, and just kind of go from there. But um, you know, as far as everything else goes, I mean, it's uh, you know like I've like I said before, I, mean, I, I really do enjoy playing here, and it's it's a true honor, and um, you know the work that you know we're putting into obviously continue to to strive for that, that end result is uh, extremely motivating. How much were you injured? Uh, in the playoffs, from much of the playoffs. Uh, I mean, you get the bumps and bruises and stuff, and deal with, with certain stuff, and um, you know, like everybody is, and uh, it's just kind of the nature of the game and the nature of you know playoffs, especially. Your hand, what was the worst anything bumping? that might have affected your shooting? Yeah, I mean, it was something I was dealing with a little bit throughout the season and you know, a little bit throughout the playoffs. I mean, in the end, it's you know my job to kind of push through that and, and do what I can. Uh, to help the team win. What do you enjoy about working with Kyle Dubas? I mean, I think he's a great, uh, a great gym. I think he's built a really good culture here. Um, you know, when you talk to guys that come from other teams and uh, other organizations, and just uh, what he's been able to kind of build here is uh, is great. And I have a really good relationship with him. And um, you know, obviously, everybody's you know same goal in mind is to obviously win. And when those expectations don't get don't get mad or you know you fall short obviously um, you know people you know point the finger and, and whatnot but um, you know in my experience with Kyle has been uh, a really positive one. How, 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 how do you think you do get over the hump here Austin? Sorry? How do you think you do get over the hump in the playoffs? I mean if I had all the answers I wouldn't be standing here right now. Um, I, I think it's just you go through those experiences and I think like any team that's won before you you go through uh, you know, a lot of stuff that, you know, maybe you wish you wouldn't have or uh, would prefer not to, but, you know, I think it's just kind of the evolution of, of growing into uh, a team that uh, competes uh, for championships year after year and it puts themselves in positions to, to contend, and that's obviously what we're trying to do here and trying to build here. And, um, you know, it's no secret that, you know, we've fallen short plenty of times, and, um, you know, I think it's just the motivation factor of you know picking yourself up uh, after you fall down and just continuing to put the work in and uh, with this group uh, and continue to pull for that goal. Considering the group you guys did have and considering the teams that have fallen around the league, does it feel like it's even more of a missed opportunity than some of the other missed opportunities? Uh, I mean, I think it's easy to say. I think every time you you know you fall short, it feels like a missed opportunity. So I'm not sure. Um, you know, we played. Boston and they go do the final, play Montreal, they go to the final, obviously, you know, you, you look at those and you think of missed opportunities, but, you know, in the end when you, um, when you lose and your season is over and, uh, you know, you kind of think of it that way, I guess. As you get ready, as you get ready to leave here, and as you get ready to leave here for the summer, do you get a sense through chatting with people, the exit meetings, whether things might look very different, a little different, seismically different when you come back in the fall? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I think just the the sense is it's kind of up in the air. I don't know. There's kind of stuff that's out of my control, and I can't really uh, comment on that. I guess you do, you do have the ability to have as much voice in this organization as anybody, though. Um, like you have probably the most power of any player. What would you tell management about specifically the core of this team and whether or not they should be kept together, whether it should be looked at, whether they can win a Stanley Cup? I mean, I think those conversations are, you know, meant to be in private. So I don't know if I'm going to really comment too much on that. I think, 
uh, my belief in you know our core players and the guys that have been here is is never wavered, and I still believe in that. So. You said you want you'd like question. to be here long term, Austin. Kyle's deal is up as GM. You obviously have a close relationship with him. If for whatever reason he doesn't resign this day here, how much does that affect your long term thinking? I mean, look, I I understand the question, but it's you know all kind of hypothetical. What if? I'm not really going to comment you know too far on that. Like I said, I have a good relationship with Kyle, um, and, and that's really all I have to say. Thanks, Austin. Thank you, guys. Thanks.